Hello YouTube, I'm FV Productions, and welcome back to another awesome Minecraft video. Please leave a like right now for some more videos in the near future. I've been loving the new Minecraft updates recently, and I cannot get enough of them. So I'm definitely on the Minecraft grind again, so leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, since I've been grinding the craft so much lately, I had a really weird thought experiment idea for Minecraft. Now the thought was... Obviously, in real life, there's only so much uh, distance that you can kind of see. Only so many miles in the distance that are visible. I was wondering, how does that compare in Minecraft? Is Minecraft's render distance realistic to real life? And I'm going to answer that question today. Now, I was wondering if anyone's actually really going to be interested in a type of video like this. So, uh, let me know if you like these type of videos in the comments below. And let me know if the answer actually surprises you. Anyways, this is actually a really cool looking world. This is like some really crazy terrain generation. I didn't even expect that. I'm getting distracted. Uh, let's let's get to the actual video. So we're going to start off with the basics. If you go on to the settings tab of Minecraft Bedrock, this is where you're going to find your render distance tab. Minecraft Bedrock Edition has the largest render distance. Uh, it's bigger than the Java one. Now, this is simply because it's coded in C++, which is faster than uh, Java, which is what Minecraft Java Edition is obviously coded in, but that's a story for another day. All you have to know is that Minecraft Bedrock has the largest render distance. So in the original Minecraft, you know, Minecraft 1.0 on the Java Edition and beyond, the uh, highest render distance was 16 chunks, which is this. Now you might think, well, what is a chunk in Minecraft? Well, a chunk in Minecraft is 16 blocks. So this right here would be your typical average Minecraft chunk. Now, if you looked at your render distance and you were to do a straight line from this point all the way down to that point, it would be 16 of these little chunks. From that way to that way as well, and then everything else would be filled in in between. So that means there's 8, 8, 8, and 8, and then everything else filled in to make a nice little circle kind of around your player. The next thing you're thinking is, how are we going to convert these chunks into uh, kind of real-world chunks? How do we measure that and convert the units? Well, Notch himself once stated that one block is about a meter. So how many American feet is a meter? Well, if you look it up on Google, one meter is about 3.2 feet. So this will give us our first distance. 3.2 times 16 is about 51 feet. So this little chunk right here is about 51 by 51 feet. And of course we have to do the whole 16 chunks. But we have to keep in mind that the distance that we can see in a straight line is only eight chunks, not 16. 16 accounts for this entire strip. So we will do 51 times eight to give us our eight chunks that we can see in a straight line. That gives us about 400 feet. So on the typical Minecraft 16 chunks far render distance, you can see about 400 feet in the distance. Now let's compare that to the real world. So as you guys can see, here we are in Google Earth of all things to show you what 400 feet looks like. So here we can see the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Now I'm gonna show you what 400 feet from the Eiffel Tower looks like. So Google Earth uses meters. 400 feet is about 122 meters. So if you were standing uh, looking at the Eiffel Tower, that would be the end of your render distance right there in real life. Believe it or not, yeah, that is all you get in your typical Minecraft render distance. But Minecraft render distance, remember, is not limited to just 16 chunks. But yeah, this is the typical 16 chunk one. Let's go ahead and see what the farthest render distance is for Minecraft. Oh, and by the way, if you want a direct comparison, here you go. It actually looks pretty similar, which is crazy. Now, the maximum render distance that we can have in Minecraft, at least for my computer, is to take it all the way to 80 chunks. Now, it's going to stress my computer out a little bit, but it's going to take a little bit to load in. This is quite a bit farther. Well, there you have it. That is my maximum render distance of about 80 chunks. That little point right there, that was 16 chunks. So let's see if this compares to how far you can see in the real world. We're going to do the same exact math to calculate. In fact, I can probably just have Alexa do it for me. Alexa, what's 40 times 16? 40 times 16 is 640. So what you're seeing there is about 640 blocks from right below me all the way to the end. Doesn't really look like it, but believe it or not, it is. In this way, it's the same exact thing. Remember, I'm only... 
Remember, this is only 40 chunks from here to the end. Anyways, let's see what 640 meters is for the Eiffel Tower. So here we are where the Eiffel Tower is again. It's actually about the distance from the Eiffel Tower all the way to the Murpur La Pikes. Yeah, sorry, I completely butchered that. Anyways, yeah, that's about the 80 chunk render distance, believe it or not. Let's see what that looks like in first person. And here we go. It looks like that. So yeah, as you guys can see, that's the 80 chunk render distance. It doesn't look similar at all. 80 chunks in Minecraft looks a lot bigger than 80 chunks in real life, so to speak. I think we can safely say that your maximum render distance, so to speak, in the real world is nowhere close to Minecraft's actual render distance but it's cool to see this little example now how far and how many chunks would it take in minecraft to see just like the real world this website live science put it really well for us the earth's surface curves out of sight at a distance of three miles or five kilometers but our visual acuity actually extends far beyond the horizon if earth was flat just like minecraft is flat you could perceive bright lights hundreds of miles distant but I guess you could even see a candle flame flickering up to 30 miles. But we're going to use this 3.1 miles because that's all you can really see on real earth. Let's see what 3.1 miles is in meters. So it's about 5,000 meters. Um, that's 5,000 blocks. We need a 312 chunk render distance. Or a little bit more than three times the max render distance I'm allowed on this computer. So there you have it. No, Minecraft is not even close to how far we can perceive in real life. But it's good to know that you always have a nice view of the Eiffel Tower wherever you are in Minecraft. And since Minecraft structures are far smaller than structures in mountains and stuff in real life, it feels a lot bigger and it still feels like an expansive, awesome world. Anyways, this was quite a fun little video to make. Let me know if you liked it or if you learned something or if the answer surprised you. I'm Avi Productions, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.